evil is present. And he was an apostle. What you mean, Paul? When I would do good, my will is present. That's right. My feelings is present. What I think is present. Amen. So what I got to do, the same thing that God didn't put in me, I have to bring myself under subjection, lest I be cast away. Holy. What do you mean, lest you be a castaway? You know, when you are on a ship and your ship get wrecked, you're a castaway. Yeah. You're stranded. Yeah. So when Paul say, lest I be cast away, lest I be stranded. Yeah. But when you're stranded, you're stranded left somewhere. Yeah. Right. Stranded where? Yeah. In hell. Yeah. Right. So I know many of you that are watching now, you don't like me, and I don't care if you don't. I'm not trying to win a popularity contest with nobody. I'm sent to do the will of him. I'm not sent to do the will of them. I'm sent to do the will of him that sent me. Holiness is the way of God. Holiness is the thoughts of God. Holiness is the teaching of God. I just want to answer the millions of questions. What is holiness? Is that a new religion? No, 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 no. Holiness is older than the universe itself. It ain't no religion can make that claim. Every religion was started by some man. Holiness had no start. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right, listen to the old man. That's right. Holiness had no beginning. No beginning. God, before the foundation of the world, meaning before the world was, he purposed for man to be holy. You better go to work in the book of Ephesians. I just want to atomize this. What is holiness? Amen. You know, many apostolics was criticizing me first for using it, but now they starting to use it. Right. Oh, and said holiness and apostolic is the same thing. Well, if it was, then I can read holiness, but I can't read apostolic. That's right. Holiness is the thinking of God for man's behavior that man behavior may be transformed and he reflect the characteristics of God he think the thoughts of God and he live according to the purpose of God are you listening that's how God chose us in him all right let's go to work with him let's establish what is holiness and then let's establish who is holy? That's right. Are you listening? In the book of Ephesians chapter 1. All right, viewers, you get around your television and your computer. Amen. Tell your girlfriend, being that she's already there, she might as well just stay around a little bit longer to hear this. And, and then after she's done, then holiness will tell her what to do. That's right. Bishop, you that got your second wife, you and your second wife might as well gather around the campfire that burn holiness. That's right. You'll find out what holiness have in store for you and your adulterous husband. Amen. You that profess all these religions and you brag about being Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Branhamites, Hittites, Jubasites, Amakites, Goodwinites, Hunnanites. Johnson Knights and some fools declare themselves even to be Jenna Knights. I want to kill everybody. That's right. Huh? That's right. Non denominational, Pentecostal, Jehovah Witnesses, Five Percenters, Mormons, Muslims, whatever you claim. My question is to the world who started you? That's right. Who came with this authority to make this first declaration and then told you 
to be what you are. That's right. Did it come from heaven? How is it that everybody claimed to be the children of God, but yet very few wants to be what God is? That's right. To my Hebrew Israelite brothers, is God a Hebrew? Oh, Pastor Jenny, you say Jesus Christ is God. Jesus was a Hebrew, came out of the tribe of Judah. That's right. But was God a Hebrew? Yeah. Jesus Christ was God, and God was not a Hebrew. The Son of God, his flesh, that body was a Hebrew, came out of the tribe of Judah, but God is before Hebrews. That's right. Before there was any Jews, God was here. That's right. And then God made a child in David's house. And by him making a child in David's house, now the Son of God is called Son of Man. What you mean, Son of Man? The man is David, and David was the father of Jesus. That's right. Come on, say what? Yeah. David was Jesus' That's father? Yeah. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 1, and verse 32. Follow me in your Bible. Well, I thought Jesus didn't have no fire, father, earthly father. He did and he didn't. That's right. He didn't have no earthly father by a man laying with Mary, but he had an earthly father by coming from a descendant. That's right. Glory to God. I want to take my time and soak you. Amen. Let's go to school now. Book of Luke, Let's get some one. Bible. Let's see, get, listen at this. Luke chapter 1, we'll start at verse 31. Parliament. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb. Thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son. son. And shalt call his name Jesus. Yeah. He shall be great. He shall be great. And shall be called the Son of the Highest. Shall be called the Son of the Eternal Father. That's right. Hey, that just hit you, didn't it? Did it again, brother. He shall be called what? He shall be called the Son of the High. He shall be called the Son of the Eternal Father. The Highest is the Eternal Father. The Eternal Father is God. God is Jehovah. Jehovah is the I Am. That's right. Mary wasn't God mother. No. Mary was the mother of the earthly tabernacle that God was in. That's right. Come on, man. The earthly tabernacle was a body. Right. The body was a house. Right. The house was a man child. That's the right. man child was human, and the spirit that was in it was divine. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? He shall be great. He shall be great. And shall be called the son of the high. And what? And the Lord God shall give look unto him. Look at here. Look at here. Look at here. And the Lord the God, Lord God shall, shall give unto him, him the throne. Of who? Of his father, David. Go and give him what? And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. That's what the title son of man means. That's right. Son of man. That's right. He come from the house of a prophet. That's right. And that man was David. David. Yeah. All right, let's go back to Ephesians. Now I want to take my time and itemize this holy business. <laughs> That's right. Come on, William. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1 and we're at verse 4. Follow me. According as he hath chosen us in him. Hold it. Hold it. I just can't read this stuff. I see too much. <laughs> That's right. Let's itemize it precept upon precept, and then we got to do it the way the word advises it. That's he right. He said line upon line. Upon line. Upon line. So that means you just can't read one line and keep going. Yeah. You got to look at it line upon line. upon line. And then when you look at it line upon line, you got to break it down here a little and there a little. And there a little. Listen at this. Acc in Ephesians 1 and verse 4. That's what? According as he. Hold it. That lets you know it's one. <laughs> That's right. He. Not according to as they. According as he. According to as he. He who God. That's right. Has did what? Has chosen, chosen us. Or selected the human family. In him. In him. Before the foundation of the world. That what? That we should be holy. Yes. All right. Holiness. Holy. Holy. It's before the world was. That's right. All of my guests that are here from various religions, Catholics, Episcopalians, Protestants, Klansmen, Black Panthers, yeah. Nation of Islam, Mormon, Muslims, yes. Masons, Elks, Eastern Stars, Falling Stars. <laughs> That's right. Glory to God. That's right. Whatever you want to call yourself. Yeah. Who is the founder of your religion? That's right. Who is the founder? 
Did God speak to your founder and gave your founder his religion? Hmm. When God give out anything for the people to live by, yeah. he tell the people to search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Why do he tell us to search the scriptures? To verify. That's right. To certify. That's right. And after you verify and certify, now you can justify. That's right. Eh? That's right. You go to scripture to certify it, to justify it, and you get all your information from scripture. You know, there's a lot of people write me and get angry because I run to scripture for everything. For everything. Right. Some say you're mighty narrow-minded. You're so narrow-minded. Why don't you go to the library? I, I think about no library. No. You mean to tell me the intelligence of God ain't good enough for me? Amen. Well, what's in the library? Give me Colossians. Colossians. Let's warn us about the usage of man wisdom. That's right. In Colossians chapter 2 and at verse Follow me. Eight. Follow me. Follow me. Give chapter and verse. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. That's what? Beware. That's a warning right there. Right there. Warning. That's right. Warning. Beware. Give chapter and verse again, William. Colossians chapter 2 and at the 8th verse. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you through Let's philosophy. Go. Any man. Any man. Suppose it's your father. Any man. Your uncle. Any man. Your husband. Any man. Your twin brother. Any man. Your slap happy grandpappy. Any man. Amen. Amen. Beware. Beware. Beware lest any man spoil you. Suppose he's rich. Any man. Amen. Play for the Panthers. Any man. Play for the Hornets. Any man. I mean, Charlotte, I'm right here in your town. <laughs> That's right. I don't give two cents how rich you are. That's right. You know, NBA players, NBA players, and NFL players, and hockey players, and soccer players, many of them watch this program. Many of them stop in the church. Yeah. Hey Amen. Sometimes I don't know them. Sometimes brothers came to me, do you know what I saw? Such and such and such, you know, he's a millionaire, he's a ball player. I look at him and tell him what I care. It wasn't Jesus that came in. That's right. Now, if Jesus walk in, I drop at your feet. Oh, yes. Otherwise, in that, you're nothing but a human being to me. That's right. And rich people die just like poor people. Amen. I don't care who you are. God set one thing for everybody. That's right. And everybody got to do the same thing in order to get into the kingdom of God. Yes. Listen. Beware lest any man spoil you. Beware. Beware. Does any man spoil you? Spoil. Hold it, hold it right spoil. there. Spoil. When meat is spoiled, it's no good. No good. It's been ruined. That's right. And this is what have happened in churches. Amen. Your church have spoiled you. Spoiled you. Amen. Fake healing meetings. That's right. Somebody blow on you, fall on the floor. Yeah. That's right. Uh, my son sent me an article from Africa. You know, I heard of a lot of hypocrisy, but this was one that not only take the cake, it took the cake and threw it out the window. <laughs> now, what I'm about to tell you is the epitome of trifleness and the sadness of deception. Come on, come on. A young false prophet in Africa, I wish I knew his name. See, can you pull it up real quick, son, while, while you're sitting there? And see, can you pronounce the name? Because this broadcast covers Africa. Amen. And I want to get a hold of this false prophet in a biblical sleeper hole. <laughs> Amen. He passed the Christ Penelope hmm. of South Africa. Amen. Says, and they got pictures of him doing this, and people criticize me for condemning false prophets. I want to show you how these worthless, no good things will get the people to believe anything. And the false prophet's success of deception hangs on your ignorance. That's right. Always remember that. That's right. No false prophet can successfully trick you. Yeah, right. Unless you're ignorant. That's right. The more ignorant you are, the more he can use you. Yeah. Yeah. This false prophet in South Africa sits on his member's face and on his member's head and said the Lord told him to pass gas 
upon them. Listen. And he convinced them that if you take the smell home, the Lord will make you rich. And they got pictures of him. I mean, I'm not making this up. Pictures of this man sitting on his member's head. Lord. Then there's another false prophet in Africa. All the women is laying on their stomach in front of the false church. And the men is in back of the women holding their ankles. And the men is on their knees with their behind up in the air. And the bishops or elders or pastors got on the false prophet's robes with belts beating the men. Beating the men. The sad thing that got me thundering and hitting hard is men and women let these trifling no good cold pit dogs That's right. come in the name of Jesus and make a fool out of you. That's right. You mean to tell me you want to be rich that bad that a man can pass gas? My Lord, my Lord. Sit on your husband's face. My Lord. He's a poor pit pervert. That's right. That's right. That's right. Where do these men get these antics? They love watching the false prophets from America. That's right. In Jamaica, Brother Minister Gary emailed me and sent me a news report. And that's what the preacher is. He's a divine journalist. But the Apostle Paul said, who hath believed our report? Or we'll take God into whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. A false prophet in Jamaica. The police arrested him. Uh, he was going to sacrifice along with some of his parishioners. About 144 people murdered him. My Lord. To believe they're doing God will. About three people got killed within the false church. My Lord. But the police caught him. Arrested him. My Lord. And they complained about me. Speaking out against the false prophets. Right. The Bible says to his preachers, cry loud. Cry loud, spare not. Ain't that what he said? That's right. Besides criticizing me for speaking against false prophets, you have to ask yourself, why is there so many men quiet? That's right. About the false prophets. Cry aloud, spare not. Because the Bible sounds the alarm. In Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. The alarm. Cry aloud. Spare not. Cry aloud and take it easy. Cry aloud, spare not. No. Cry aloud and be cool. Cry aloud, spare not. Cry aloud and don't hurt their feelings. Cry aloud, spare not. That's right. Don't spare them. That's it doesn't right. matter if they cry, don't spare them. Spare not. It doesn't matter if they put a contract out on you, don't spare them. Spare not. That's right. If they send hitmen from Africa to America, what do I care? Spare not. Don't spare them. That's right. That's right. Cry aloud, spare not. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a coward. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. No, like a coward. Like a trumpet. Be scared. Like a trumpet. Hallelujah. That's it. What make these Hallelujah. men so quiet? Hallelujah. Because you viewers have paid your pastor off. That's right. Paid him to shut up. That's right. Paid him to turn his back. That's right. As long as you pay his gas, his rent, his mortgage, buy his cars, buy his suits, he ain't gonna speak out against your wrong. No, no. no, no, no. I wouldn't care if you gave the church a million dollars every hour. That's right. I tell you the truth while you're writing the check. That's right. That's Why? Right. Because everything in this life is temporary. Yes. Hallelujah. We will take God. Hallelujah. Only God Himself is eternal. Cry out, spare not. Cry out, spare, spare not. Don't spare. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Lift it up how? Like a trumpet. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. You know, everybody can't play a trumpet. Yes, yes. You know, a trumpet player, a lot of times he wants to work the vowels on that trumpet to try to hit a note that he never hit before. That's right. So you find a trumpet player trying to hit the highest note yeah. that he or she can. Yeah. The trumpet represent a wake up call. That's right. Thank God. That's right. That's what God make his preacher. He's a wake up call. Come to interrupt your sleep. Yeah. Cry loud, spread not lift up your voice at the trumpet. And show my people their transgression. Wait a minute. You're speaking loudly to do what? And show my people show them. their transgression. Show them. You don't like the fact you're wrong. Amen. No, you love the fact you're wrong. That's right. And you love it when nobody say nothing. That's right. That's why a lot of you watching me can't stand me. <laughs> That's because right. Because what we preaching doesn't hit you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. But the Bible says do what? And show my people their transgression. Show them. That's right. Show them. Come on. Amen. 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 Show them. Show my people their transgression. I don't care if you're Hallelujah. white and think that you're a child of God because you white. I don't care if you black and you think God look like you. What do I care? That's right. You was born of a woman like everybody else. That's right. And just like the devil gave you a job to do, Jehovah gave me a job to do. And show my people their transgression. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Show, show my people, my people their transgression. My people. Show them that they're wrong. That's right. For That's saying right. sex marriage. That's right. President Biden. Hey, Biden. 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 Hey, man. Miss Harris. Biden. Mm -hmm. You say that your faith is what got you through many things in life, and undoubtedly it has. Yeah. But when it comes to men loving men and bless God, women loving marry loving uh, one marry women, mm -hmm. your faith have detoured. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes. Because if you truly was a Christ-like president, Amen. Amen. when the majority will beg you for same-sex marriage, yeah. Christ within you yes. will say no. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. It's a lie. Amen. They got the right to love like anybody else. That's not love. That's not love. That's right. All right, listen. That's right. The prophet Isaiah say what? And show my people their transgression. Show them. Show them. Show them. Hallelujah. So the Baptist preacher, you can't be a Baptist and get in the kingdom of God. That's right. Show, show my people their transgression. Now let your repent of your sins and go down in water Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You ain't never been saved. That's right. Show my people their transgression. Every woman that claims she's a preacher, she Hallelujah. told a lie on God. That's right. Show my people their transgression. Hallelujah. Show them. Show my people their transgression. Amen. That is only one in the Godhead. That's right. Show. Show them their transgression. And show them their error. That's right. Show them their mistake. That's right. Show them their sin. That's right. That's right. And that's why you people love these false churches because the false prophet will not show you. Oh no. No, he won't. He paint over it. That's right. Hallelujah. He ignore it. That's right. Why? He looking at the money you gave him. Yes. I don't give two cents what you give. That's right. As long as I'm on good side and good terms with God. Yeah. That's what mattered to me. Would say to the seers. Not being on a good term with a dollar. No. What good is money if you're going to hell? That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Cry aloud. All of you that are here. Wonderful, brother. You have a God Hallelujah. to stand before. That's right. And God don't care what you own. That's right. Who cares about your size house? That's right. Who cares about what you drive? Amen. Who cares about what you own? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Who cares how cute you think you are? That's right. That's right. You don't look that good to keep the worms from crawling on you. That's right. God said, cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spend not. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy take off. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spend not. Spend not. Don't spare them. That's right. 
That's right. Oh, the preacher either preach the word or get out the pulpit. That's right. Spare not. You scared to stand for God? Hallelujah. You scared to correct your house? You scared to correct your wife? Hallelujah. Get out the pulpit. That's right. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Spare not. Hallelujah. You bigot Christians. That's right. Who Hallelujah. think if you're white, you're right? Yeah. And you black Christians who think in order to be right with God, all black folks are Jews? Hmm. All black folks are devils that don't obey God. That's right. That's right. Amen. I don't care if you got a chain around your neck no. with the so-called star of David. <laughs> that star ain't going to get you in the kingdom. Oh, no, no. We have to take that star and blast it back to hell. That's right. Cry aloud. But even David had to obey God. That's right. If David didn't obey God, David would have went to hell of a truth. Amen. Amen. And when you preach like this, according to the obedience yeah. of God, yes. Yes. you mean that's right. You're arrogant. Arrogant. You're self righteous. That's right. You think you're the only one right. That's right. No, I think and know that God is the only one right. That's right. Cry aloud. Hallelujah. You can hate me all you want, but before you get into the kingdom of God, you're going to have to be holy. That's it. You can try to dodge this message all you want, but you're going to come back to the Bible. That's right. Let's come on back to the book of Ephesians real quick now. Back in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 4. According. According as he hath chosen us in him. Now let's remember God chose us to be in him. That's be, before the foundation before the of the world, world was. That we should be holy. God intents. That's right. God purpose. Yeah. God's agenda. Mm -hmm. God's thinking. Yeah. What's for man to be holy? That we should be holy. Now, this is the reason why he wants us to be holy. Now, the he wants us to be holy, mm -hmm. but there's a reason behind it. That's right. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, and we'll start at verse 1. Follow me in your Bible. Leviticus, chapter 19, and we're starting at the very first then verse. Then I want to show them the power of holiness. That's right. How invincible it is. Yes. And what it is. That's right. How it's a protective shield. Yeah. Come on, son. In Leviticus, chapter 19, and at verse 1. What is it? And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. The Lord spake unto, as the Arabs call him, Musa. Moses says, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. And say unto them, Say unto them, Ye shall be holy. For what reason? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. That bring me back to my question. You that brag and say you're Baptist, Methodist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Pentecostal, non denominational, Aryan nation, Black Panthers, Ku Klux Klan, Masons, Elks, uh, I don't care what you call yourself, <laughs> Mormons, 5%ers, no percenters, 2%ers. Zero percent. Muslim, Mormon, yeah. Jehovah Witness, Protestant, yes. Christian Science, mm -hmm. polytheist meaning idol worshippers. That's right. They God at any time uh -huh. told you to be any of this. Any of this. Besides arguing with me and cussing me out, listen to me and follow me. That's right. Did God, the Father of creation. Yes. Yes. Amen. Advise any of you yeah. that's making these claims. Yes. Did he give you permission to be this? That's right. To profess this. Yeah. If he did not, if he did not, where did you get your rights from? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Where did you get your authority from? Yes. You claim to be these religions because your mama is one. Right. You claim to be these religions because your your father is this. That's right. But your mother is in God. No. And your earthly father is in God. No. In most cases, your father and mother done the best they could do right. according to what they knew. That's right. But don't ever fail to realize there is a greater knowledge. That's right. Higher than your father. That's right. Higher than your mother. That's right. For no knowledge in the world can connect you with God better than the knowledge of God himself. That's right. That's right. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, The Lord! The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. The Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord. Spake unto Moses, saying, Talk to Moses, saying, Speak unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. Speak to all the descendants of Abraham. And say unto them, Say to them, Ye shall be holy. You what? Ye shall be holy. holy. You what? Ye shall be holy. 
What is the reason? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. Amen. Amen. Truly. How many here are Baptists? Raise your hand. Don't be afraid, Angle. I'm not going to hurt you. The word is. The word will. How many here are Catholics? Raise your hand. How many here are non denomination? Pentecostal. Apostolics. Lutheran. Yes. Mormon. Muslim. Hebrew Israelites. Five percenters. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Are you listening? Amen. What if God says what? Ye shall be holy. For I, the Lord your God, am That's what holy. That's why me stand flat footed. <laughs> That's right. And blast it to all the powers of the world. That's right. That's right. If God said. That's right. For you to be something. How can you be or show years of loyalty to other things? Amen. Amen. All of you that are watching. And you're not holy. Not holy. I want you to encourage you to go to your pastor. That's right. And ask him, Bishop, why are we, why do we say we're apostolic? Yeah. Amen. Why do we say we're Pentecostal? Right. Why do we say we're non-denominational? Why do we say we're Baptist? Right. Where do we trace our origins to? That's right. Who told us to be this? Who was the first Baptist? Who was That's the right. first apostolic? Who right. was the first Methodist? Who was the first Pentecostal? Who was the first Catholic? Right. And then when they tell you who it was, ask them to give you a Bible for it. That's right. That's right. Because Jesus said, he that believeth on me. Yes, as the scripture has said, right. no out of his belly shall flow rivers yes. of living water. Yes. What are we doing? We are encouraging the whole world to come back come to back. Bible. That's right. That's right. Come back to the original thing. That's right. They don't need to fight with me, fuss with me, and cuss me out. No. I didn't write it, and I didn't tell you to be holy. No. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying. Geno Jennings said it. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying. Geno Jennings said it. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. 